Okay, so the arterial line is set up, it's attached to the cannula, um, we're getting a waveform on the monitor. The transducer has been taped um, at the level of the, the right side of the heart on the patient, so it tends to be you know, on their kind of upper arm. Um, taking a blood sample, so we actually need a couple of syringes. Um, basically because at the moment the, the tubing is filled with saline so the first syringe to use is basically just to, you know, to, to aspirate and discard that saline so you have to make sure that's off to the cap before you take that off otherwise it will leak something syringe on uh, we want to be sucking it from the patient so we turn off that way and start aspirating um, and they suggest about five mils actually, just to make sure you've, this bit of tubing here is all full of blood. It's not diluted at all by any of your saline because then you'll get an erroneous reading. Then turn this all the way around 180 degrees. So you're off to patient now. Then you can quite safely take that off. No blood will leak back. Nothing will come from this end because of the, um, well that, that little blue thing there. That essentially gets discarded and then you can take your um, your actual blood sample so syringe on open to the patient again and aspirate um, so yeah of course you can use this for arterial blood gas um, lab samples uh, point of care rotem tag whatever um, and yeah off to there the other thing to note with these valves if you put it diagonally everywhere anywhere it'll be off to all all ports so you can do that as well okay so we've got the sample uh, the next thing is we can't leave all this blood here um, so we are going to have to flush that out um, so what we usually do I should have gloves on this for obviously with a real patient so close that to the to the valve and then we can start flushing all that blood Kind of this tube, this blood in the tubing is all sort of sterile and fresh, so that can just go back into the patient. Ah, so what I've not done is opened the roller ball on the pressure bag, and that's why it's not flushing. So you open that, and then that will flush out. Um, and you you often left with a slight residue of blood in that end. It doesn't matter too much as long as the majority is gone. If you pulse it a little bit, that does sometimes help like that. Um, so that's all clear. Problem is you can see there's still a little bit of blood in this bit here, which again can kind of clot up. So the best thing to do is get a bit of gauze or tissue, um, close it to the patient because we want fluid to flush down here out of there uh, and just flush that again. And then you can see that just Clears that bit, close again, find the cap, and then that's nice and clear. It's not going to clog or clot, um, and you should you should check your monitor again. Just check it's reading well.